My brother in Christ, it's time for summer. The wait is over. But no games. We don't fool around here. Effective security measures online. This seems to be a website that helps with training security team members. There's a list of self-defense videos here, each with a detailed text explanation. I decided to start with the most watched video. I watched a how-to video on subduing violent individuals. I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe I can use what I learned in our fights in Tartarus. Learn how to ambush. When ambushing an enemy, you'll trigger chance encounters, regardless of the direction an enemy is facing. Press and hold R2 to dash for a set distance to enter the assault state. By pressing square while in this state, you will ambush the enemy. Triggering an encounter from behind will slightly increase Master's theurgy gauge and may distress the enemy at the beginning of the battle. That's kind of broken. The trip to Yakushima begins today, and will last for four days, three nights. I need to get ready. Whoa! Looks like we're finally coming up on the island! Hell yeah! Yeah! Koo! She! Ma! Jeez, you sound like a little kid. Oh, he's just having fun. Personally, I'm ready for some training. Training. I do wonder Protein. what kind of flora and fauna live there. of the lifestyles of the rich and fabulous. Welcome home, Pastor. Welcome back, milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her associates from school, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please, follow me. Associates? Dude, real life maids! I knew she was from an important family. This definitely proves it. It's good to see you. I heard the news. There isn't much here, but make yourselves comfortable. I... Uh, yes, sir. Was that her father? He was so intense. And what's up with them wearing a suit in this kind of heat? What's wrong with that? 
We won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet! This is gonna rock! Hey, wanna go to the beach? It's literally right there! Oh man! I'm so ready for this! Come on, let's go! What? We just got here. I mean, it's gonna take time to get changed and stuff. Then, I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Jupiter knows what to do. Sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Whoa, what's with that swimsuit? What do you mean? Dude, swim briefs? Nobody wants to see your junk. What? But I do. Better for swimming. You gotta be kidding. We come all the way to the beach, and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do! It's summertime at the beach! I've got the perfect activity. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, hey, they're here. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takeba. That's quite a bold design. She's really strutting her stuff. Archery practice must do wonders for the self-esteem. Mm. <laughs> No one seems to have claimed the umbrellas around here. Do you think we can go ahead and use them? Ooh, next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi! Wow, Fuka, uh, do you wear swimsuits often, or...? <laughs> oh, whoops, was it something I said? Didn't mean to embarrass ya! <laughs> hey, cut it out with that laugh, you creep. And for our final contestant of the day! What happened? Is something wrong? Speechless. No one has orders. Wow! Oh, You're never mind. senpai You're so beautiful! Yeah, your skin is totally flawless! Hey, did you put on sunscreen already? N no. Not yet. Well, we can't have that. You gotta put them on right now. Oh, can I help? That's okay. I'll do it myself. Yo, dude. Dude. So, so true. Which one's yours? So true. Sorry, I have to go with the one and only. Oh, seriously? You got balls, man. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. All right. I think it's about time for a swim. Time! Oh, I'm not letting you win that easy. I feel uneasy. It's like someone is watching me. <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> The uneasy feeling went away. What are you standing over there for? The water's fine. So this is the beach. And there's nobody else here. The perfect kind of beach. <clears throat> the white sand on the beach is so fine, it feels nice underneath my feet. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get her something that feels like the ocean. Elizabeth might be happy if I gave her a pretty seashell from the beach.
Watching the waves roll onto the shore is somewhat calming. There's some seaweed swirling in the waters at my feet. Maybe Elizabeth would like it. Hmm, seaweed. Pocket seaweed, no less. There's a tiny crab walking beneath the water. Pocket crab. <laughs> And don't forget, pocket stick. Pick up the whole damn piece of driftwood. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's having fun out there. Our operations during the dark hour are taxing on both mind and body. You should relax a little. Rest up. If you need to take a break, the best spot to kick back is underneath the parasol. Help us, please! Jimmy, come on, stop! <laughs> Tell you! Take this! And this! It's what you gotta do. Come on! Water fights are pretty much a given at the beach. Nice and cool, ain't it? Hey, knock it off! You're taking this too far! <sighs> Okay, fine. You asked for it. Here we are on summer vacation, but I still have to deal with Junpei's usual antics. I want Yukari sunglasses. Those look really cool. Woohoo! Thanks, Kirito Senpai. Right now, I feel like I could die with no regrets. That's all it took? A trip to the beach? Perfect. You have yourself a soldier. It's a lovely place, wouldn't you agree? When I was younger, I used to come here fairly often. But I haven't had the chance to visit since starting high school. Can I, uh, chill next to Mitsuru all day? Alright, ladies and gents, the next three hours will be this spot exactly. Have a good day. I think Elizabeth would like a lifeboat. Probably, put the, probably can fit that in my pocket too. to do here little 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 sad even the food was fancier than I could have imagined I've never had to think about the proper way to use a fork and knife so much uh, I can't eat anymore not even another bite of caviar Suffering no one from said success. you had to try to eat all of it well, I'm sure we're all exhausted from the trip. Why don't you go rest up in your rooms? Oh, are you not coming with us, Senpai? Yes, I'll join you in just a minute. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests Bones. are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it for so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. 
That has been our guiding principle since the Kirijo family separated from the Nancho group. <sighs> you must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. I understand. You accessed our database, didn't you? That brings me to my next question. Why didn't you ask me directly, instead of using this trip as an excuse? I... I'm sorry. Bring them here, all of them. I have no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takiba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power, it was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Just reload to the last save point, right? We have a whole rewind feature. They're not thinking big enough. Also, apparently Mitsuru didn't know this either. Damn, that's insane. Unfortunately, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. In fact, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Wait a sec. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. I'm afraid the damage will be staggering. At this point, it's unavoidable. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Destroyed the entire world? Whoever is watching this, please. I need you to listen to me very carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. In order to end this, you have no choice but to eliminate all of them. I am the one responsible for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so, I chose to continue without objections. I am responsible. His name was Eiichiro Takiba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, are you... So that means... My dad caused it all. The Dark Hour. Tartarus. The people who died. It was all his fault. Hey. So is that why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, talk about I... I don't want your pity! Talk about... <sighs> 
Um, shouldn't someone go after her? Fuka is so weird. Looking out for others. Will you go? Why me? Thank you. I believed in him for so long. This is too much. <sighs> Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Must have been tough. <sighs> yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though he said to my family, it was more or less all about me. And that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But now... Now I can see it was all for nothing. That's not true. <sighs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Well, is it working? <laughs> Reality sure is harsh, huh? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. And you know, I think maybe I was jealous, too. I mean, after all that's happened. Why does Kirijo Senpai's father get to live? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Wow. I don't know how you do it. You're always so calm. Nothing ever phases you. It's the Did trauma. Did you really think I could just be cheered up so easily? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. I can barely make sense of all of this. I'm so afraid. I just feel so lost now. Tell me, what am I supposed to do now? Huh? You really are something else. Sorry for acting like this. I know you've lost your parents too. I'll be alright. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? I wanted to help. <laughs> Aren't you a smooth talker? Is it working? Thanks, though. Ikari is laughing, though her eyes are red from all the crying. We do, we do a little hugging. We love the hug. What's taking you guys so long? Everybody was getting worried. It's almost the dark hour, so we gotta head back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, did I miss something? No, I, I just almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Oh, come on, that's common sense. Even I remembered that. Even Junpei remembered that. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the Dark Hour. 
In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We can't escape reality, can we? I guess we've just got to stay strong, huh? Yeah, guess so. All right, then. Let's head on back. It feels like I'm being watched again. I decided to head back anyway. <laughs> Spooky. It's day two of our vacation in Yakushima. The air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Oh, poor it's Fuka. Probably a good thing she has to try so hard. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Go ahead. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need more information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a type of combat vehicle. An anti-shadow weapon, to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta tell the others. Where's my phone? We're not currently with everyone, so it might take some time for us to regroup. I see. In any case, I want you to handle this as soon as you can. I'm on my way there now. If we can't secure the target, do we have permission to destroy it? I highly doubt you will be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. As concerning as this might be, Don't worry about Akutsuki it. didn't Let's go sound back and get concerned. Our equipment. Once we do that, we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although searching the whole island won't be easy. Ugh. The one time we need them and they're nowhere to be found! Hell yeah. The girl's not up yet? Man, those sleepy heads. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. That's really what you're worried about? Junpei, that reminds me. Didn't one of the maids give you something as we were leaving? <laughs> you saw that, huh? One of the maids gave me a letter. <laughs> oh, man. What if it's a confession of love? Well, it sure is tough being this popular. You're a moron. No. Okay, let's see here. It says, we've gone to see the Jomon Cedar Tree. Huh? This looks like Yamagishi's handwriting. At an island resort in the middle of summer. Why are they going to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I just wanted to lighten the mood yesterday. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter now, anyways. We're on our own. Just a guy. This is the frontier of romance. <laughs> We're bound to meet someone new out here. The frontier of romance. I've never thought of a beach like we'll that. We'll call this Operation Yakushima Beach Flay. 
flame. You mean we're gonna pick up girls? How about it, Sonata-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I should have known this was your plan. What do you think about this? You gotta. Let's begin the operation. Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. What? Why? You said it yourself. This is an operation. Oh man, that's bullshit. You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back first and start prepping for the barbecue. Okay, thanks for walking us here. We'll join you after we take some photos. Forest bathing is great and all, but I hate that it gets my feet dirty with mud. I can't relax on the beach like this. I think I'll take a quick shower first. I heard there was a beach where kids can play. I was nervous at first, but I decided to move here. Now when I see them playing so happily, it makes me glad to play. I'm going to collect pretty seashells and make a necklace. Are you, are you here to pick up chicks? You're doing it wrong. You have to be more subtle or it'll put them off. I'm here today with the intention of getting a girlfriend, too. That makes us rivals, doesn't it? Ooh, target set. Let's move in for the kill. Okay, this is my area of expertise, so let me give you some pointers. Tell me, Junpei. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question and get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where you from? Or, having fun? Once you get started, you'll be going back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off, then you ask the questions, all right? Okay, here we go. Hey there, ladies. Having fun? None of your business. <laughs> huh? Hey, no need to be shy. Why should we tell you anything? Why? Uh, well... Come on, we're just making conversation. How is this like playing catch? Don't worry, I got this. Watch in there. So ladies, are you in college? Or maybe you're already working? Um, you guys seem a little young. Are you still in high school? Nope, not us. Seriously? You sure look like high schoolers from here. No, sorry. That, that was a lie. Oh, really? High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Sorry you feel that way. We're only here because we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Wow. A vacation home in Yakushima? Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, had to save up our own money to come here. Oh, that's a pretty big accomplishment, huh? No, not really. So what do you guys want, anyway? Uh, we came to hit on you. What? <laughs> I like your honesty. Uh, don't encourage them. They'll go away if we ignore them. Wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beauties? Uh, these guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, give us a chance! How about a, a walk on the beach? 
Wow, you're annoying. <laughs> See you, boys. Yeah, you were playing catch, all right. Oh. Hey, I did my best. And what about you, Sonata-san? If that's how you feel, then show us how it's done. Why do I have to show you anything? Well, you said this was an operation, didn't you? Aren't we supposed to work together in order to succeed? I guess you've got a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you at least. Can you give me a hand? I'll go ahead and set the pace. Uh... <laughs> They're all just so socially awkward. It's too hard. <laughs> but worse than me. Guys who can drive are so cool. I end up watching them instead of the scenery outside. Are you hitting on me? Sorry, but I'm here with my boyfriend. I rented a car because I heard you could drive along the coast, but you can't really see the ocean from the road. Well, it's fine, because my girlfriend had fun anyway. Those girls were kind of harsh. You shouldn't argue with them when they're like that. Just agree with what they say and shower them with compliments. This is a very basic technique. Spotted a new set of targets. What are you waiting for, Sonata-san? Show us what you got. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko. Are those boys looking at us? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, Yoshie. I'm surprised you could see from over there. All right. Time to get in the ring. Good luck. Hi there. S uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, uh, I wanted to ask you something. And what would that be? Uh, um, are you uh, two here alone? <laughs> are you hitting on us? No, no, not at all. <laughs> we just thought that if you're bored, uh, you might want to talk or. Uh, uh, a chance meeting like this might stir things up for both of us, uh, you know. Aww, he... Um, isn't that what it means to hit on someone? Haven't you heard? It's lame to hit on girls at the beach nowadays. Aw, come on. We were bored anyway. And besides, they look kinda cool. Kinda. I'm hella, hella really, cool. Nobuko? Hey, how old do we look to you? Terrible, terrible question. Seriously? We still look that young? Aw, I'm so happy to hear that, even if it's just flattery. To tell you the truth, we're actually older than that. Uh oh, you are? That, that's too bad. <laughs> no, Aki! No, back up! No, wait! That's <laughs> fine by us! Older women are more mature and experienced. Jim, they already failed his operation, unfortunately. You know, you're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys, anyway? Truth hard. is, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. Oh, gosh. That's more of an age gap than I was expecting. See? It's not going to work out. Besides, I doubt you're having any fun talking to us. It's all about the chase. Right, it's boring. Well, I want to say it so bad. Come on. No, you're not. I don't think there's anything we could chat about that you'd find interesting. Unless you want to hear me complain about my boss. Fuck uh, noise. Complaining about your boss. Um, that might be fun. You're not very good at lying, are you? You really don't have to try so hard. Yoshie, don't ruin the conversation. 
He said it might be fun, so just play along. Nobuko, you need to stop being so nice to everyone. I think she's playing us. Oh, come on. It's been ages you since I've done this. I, I, I can't tell which one of them is the good cop and enough. which one's the bad cop. Maybe waiting they're both bad cops. They? Oh, right. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Well, we gotta go now. We're meeting our boyfriends back at the villa for a barbecue. You can come if you want. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Yeah, they're both bad cops. So not a son. What happened? We look like a bunch of idiots. And you, you haven't been pulling your weight either. Oh. Gotta come through on the next one. You hear me? Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Hey you, huh? You aren't checking out my girlfriend, are you? We should get going or we might not make it in time. I wanted to surprise my boyfriend, so I booked a fancy dinner for us. Looks like she already has a boyfriend. Tough luck, tough luck. It's lame to hit on girls at the beach, they say. Yeah. If it was just a team of three Junpeis, they'd be going hard. Exactly. There's a woman over there all alone. It's unusual to find someone not in a group. No boyfriends to be seen in the area either. I think we're in the clear. All right, time to make contact. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I don't understand women at all. Guess I can't deny that. You, in the hat. You're way too wrapped up in yourself. Shouldn't you be thinking more about how to make your partner happy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you in the t-shirt. You're the type that's stoic, but not very experienced with girls. Yeah, I guess that might be true. You seem like kind of a hassle, too. Like you're super logical about everything. <laughs> <laughs> and you, with the long hair. Long hair? Hmm. I'm not sure about you. Hey, don't hold back. <laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. Like, no one can ever tell what you're really thinking. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so smart. Mm-hmm. I think you're just my type. Hey, wait a second! <laughs> just joking. I like you a lot, too. Really? Want me to tell you what would make me really happy? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Could I ask you to help me put on my sunscreen? What? I mean, uh... You're all right with that? Of course I am. I have enough for you, too. Akihiko oh! looks so mad. Oh, man. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm not passing up this chance. Would you two like to join, too? I'll give you a good deal. A deal? You know that sun in the sky isn't real, right? That's an artificial sun that got sent into space back in the 1980s. <laughs> Holy crap, this sounds like my brother. You didn't know? Turns out that sun sends out harmful rays that mess with your body's equilibrium. Normal sunscreen doesn't work. But that's where this special one comes in. And if you opt in right now, you can get three bottles for just 300,000 yen. Hey, doesn't she sound kind of strange? Get in there, Jupe! <laughs> what the hell? I'm just leaving <laughs> What? You're leaving? This sucks so much. What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. 
If I'm in a match, I want to win. <laughs> uh. I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. Not like you scored either, Sonata son. Why are you always gonna be so logical? Even in front of babes, it doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? That's it. Leader, whose fault do you think it is? It's my fault. It's both your fault. I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, that answer ain't gonna cut it. Besides, what the hell do you know? What? Do you see something? Aha, uh -huh. here comes the part of the trailer. She's the only one, like, actually trying to hide. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh, man, this is insane! If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water! How about this time, we try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Paper. I lost. Oh, yeah! I win! Okay, I'll go first, Sonata Sonata second, and you'll go last. Here goes! Uh, hey. I notice you've been, uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, you here with anyone? My name's Jujunpei. Jujunpei? Jujunpei? <laughs> um, I was just wondering if you'd be down to talk. If you're not busy. I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Uh, oh yeah? You are not that someone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. So, like. Hang on. Oh, hey. I'll, I'll Do you point like it the, out. Uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. I, uh, you know, I heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. That information is irrelevant to me. Oh, no. Irrelevant. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> I talked to her longer than you did. From here, we can clearly see that she has no feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just the, the nubs at the bottom of her legs. <laughs> they don't see it? They're not looking at her feet? Some people are. <laughs> Making me feel bad. Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. For the rest of your life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. 
It's all up to you now. I'll avenge you. <laughs> hey, baby. You. <laughs> you hear what he said? <laughs> she looks surprised. We should go over there. <sighs> Initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. <laughs> I lost. She ran away from me. <laughs> hey, what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her. But I don't care to. This could turn into serious trouble. You gotta go tell her you're sorry. If you don't, we'll get all the blame. Go on. You can catch her if you hurry. I decided to follow the girl into the forest. For reasons. The way she just started off is odd. Now, I'm not sure what you said to her, but you better clear up the misunderstanding. Uh, it's, it's, I don't remember what, how the conversation and everything <laughs> went in the original. Go after her! Get on your knees, beg for forgiveness, and introduce her to me. <laughs> and introduce her to me. <laughs> I mean, I remember we did have to chase her into the forest, but I don't remember how it all wound up. Where did she go? Peekaboo! I found you! Hmm. Wait patiently. Now I am certain. I have found you. <coughs> I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be oh, yeah. at okay. your side. I, re I remember that was the line. Oh, kind of sweet. What? Are you freaking kidding me? But what's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. <laughs> it seems like she still doesn't want to let go. I'm just like stuck there. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've. Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Why are you jealous? Listen, we have a slight situation here. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need everyone to go back to the house and gear up. Ah, oh, that won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. <laughs> I'm still just stuck there. Mr. Chairman, what do you mean? <laughs> you had me worried. You can't just leave the lab on your own, I guess. Understood. Sorry for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. What happened to securing the tank? <laughs> oh, that's been taken care of. I guess, join us over here. 
Understood. I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but I guess is one of my favorite characters in this, this game. This is I guess. As you can see, she's a machine with the form and face of a human girl. I am Igis. My objective is to exterminate shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. No way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. How can a robot be this cute? What a cruel world. Ten years ago, a plan was enacted to create anti-shadow weapons. A contingency in the event a shadow became unmanageable. Igis was the last one to be made. Ooh. And she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she has a persona too? Correct. I am capable of wielding the persona called Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat her first year out, and she's been kept in the lab ever since. I'm still not sure as to why she suddenly reactivated herself. I wonder how she awoke to her persona. In any case, I hope you'll all get along. An anti-shadow weapon possessing a will all her own. This is amazing! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, when we first saw you earlier, you were, uh, hugging our leader. Do you know him? <laughs> yes, it is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm. Maybe her facial recognition system is malfunctioning? Or maybe she's still half asleep. Very interesting. Hmm. Half asleep? Well, I can ponder this later. Anyhow, I forgot to mention. Did you know there are a wide range of recreational facilities you can <laughs> Bye, use here? Akihiko. There's a tennis court, a pool table, and even a karaoke machine. What about a boxing ring? Would anyone care to hear me sing? Dear God, no. It's day three of our vacation in Yaki Yakushima. Man, I can't believe it's already the third day of our trip. Yeah, it's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain too much. We went through a hell of a lot here. Yeah, like hearing you and the chairman singing. I barely got any sleep last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? <laughs> It's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Yes, I am informed of the concept. Recreation is sustenance for one's mental well-being. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, wait, <laughs> Junpei-kun? She just is ran Is it in. okay for I guess to go in the water? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, are you done already? It is best that everyone partake in this activity together. True. Deriving enjoyment alone is not the optimal method to have fun. True. <laughs> You've got some strong feelings on pretty weird things, don't you? But what the heck, might as well. We should join them. Agreed. <laughs> Enjoying yourself. We quite sat a lot happened during our time here, but it looks like we'll get to relax a bit today. <laughs> that would be nice. Sonata son, what are you doing? Come on, it's your turn. For what? My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship is arriving tomorrow, right? I'll probably head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. 
we can get back to business once we've returned to the dorm. Got it. Hey, dude! Sonata san! All right, I guess we should join too. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh! Shinpikun is down! Alright, here's our chance for an all out attack! Fatal strike! Wait! Time out! No! No! Poor Jupiter! How could they do that to my boy? <sighs> you seem to be in great pain. It's all the drugs. <sighs> you again. Shit, it's them! You mean those three? Ugh, they're freaky. Shut up! Let's get out of here! Why do they always run and hide at the sight of me? They're like back alley rats. <laughs> Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> Please stop Thanks. throwing invisible shit. I'll pay you the usual way. Now hold up. This time, we'd like your payment in the form of information. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full, of course. They've spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. I wonder, why did they take this burden upon themselves? Hmm. You do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it perhaps because... You're one of them? I'm not. I've got nothing to do with them anymore. Then tell us. I'm sure you'd agree these pills are more important than a group you have nothing to do with. <sighs> I don't know the details, but... Supposedly... Destroying all those creatures will put an end to the Dark Hour. And that weird-ass tower will disappear. That's all I know, all right? You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour completely? Why would they do such a thing? To give up such power? Ugh. <sighs> to destroy the Tower of Demise. Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn thing? <sighs> the Kaya. Yes, I know. <sighs> I can't go back. I won't use my power again. Not after last time. There's a box on the counter. Man, I'd be. It seemed to take forever to get back. Oh, hello. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah. There are six more to fight, right? Just the last full moon. Shadows and things will go back to normal. No more apathy syndrome incidents, just play old everyday life. Let's do our best. After all, we're the only ones who can help. <laughs> there wasn't like much discussion about it or anything. I guess it's just here and one of us now. <clears throat> Greetings. These are your lodging quarters. 
Very well. I shall remain by your side at all times. She is still far from passing as human. Doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings and conversation yet. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. <laughs> Everyone seems worn out. You must be exhausted too, Guardian. Let's not go to Tartarus tonight and just rest instead. Nicely done. Nate Shadow Weapon. That will be a most welcome addition. Most, most souvenirs are useless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, this souvenir from Yakushima is Tribi. Well, about that. A lot of people are joining the team, huh? Big difference from a while back. You see, is there something you'd like to know about Aegis? <laughs> Where are the others? I assume you're referring to the other anti shadow weapons. Yes. Well, there were quite a few created. You could say they were Aegis' siblings. However, they were all destroyed ten years ago in the incident. Aegis has been quite lonely since then. You see. Why is she so human? A persona is a product of the human psyche. So the plan had been to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was that for it was the form that weapon would take. If we had used a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind would recognize itself as such. And a contradiction would arise, as we all know a tank is not a living entity. A human mind trying to reconcile its existence in this way would break down before you could blink. So, how do we prevent that contradiction? You see where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes. When given a body that more closely resembles the expectation of the mind, the spirit stabilizes. That is why Agus and her siblings were built in the form of human beings. You see, how come she knows me? Hmm. I couldn't say. Perhaps it's a bug in her facial recognition programming. I'm sure it's nothing to concern yourself with. You're not worrying over much, are you? You see, that was. Honestly, the teenage girl part is probably the most normal of this whole situation. She's super cute, huh? She's super cute, but made of steel. It's new territory for me. Honestly, I don't know how to approach this. She looks like a normal girl as long as she doesn't do anything too weird. But if she does, do you think anyone will figure out that she's actually a robot? Well, maybe not. Most people probably aren't on the lookout for undercover robots. <laughs> Yukari brings up a good point. Oh, I see you're carrying something related to the ocean. May I have one? Oh my! My my, what a beautiful shell! I profess it is deeply moving, knowing that something is so en something so enchanting was sculpted by nature. How splendid! Thank you. Because of your stories and your lovely souvenirs, I was able to experience the ocean myself. I saw a girl in a white frilly dress in front of the station. It was a be beautiful dress, and it offset her stunning red hair so well. 
That gothic Lolita style is hard to pull off, but she had it down perfectly. Maybe I should say hi to her when I see her next. Revenge website. This must be the site. This must be the site from those rumors. There are all kinds of requests requests posted here. I know he's always talking about me behind my back. I hate him. I want revenge. The hate-filled posts pleading for revenge go on and on. Bearing witness to this ugly side of humanity has strengthened my resolve. It gave me courage or something. Got it is morning. <laughs> I request that you wake up. You have successfully awakened. Mission, Mission complete. complete. My alarm clock. It has not triggered yet. Five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall, so I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Can you help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. <laughs> while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. That's unlawful entry. <laughs> Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? <laughs> Why is Yukari the one problem, that has to deal with this? I will this? address it promptly. <laughs> for one look don't just stand there tell her she's a good alarm clock you can stay here oh come on you know she's not allowed in here okay look I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby just don't leave the dorm by yourself okay I will do as commanded yeah, okay. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, well, I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. What's up? It's so freaking hot today, too. Oh, I've been thinking. After we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Things will be peaceful, presumably. Well, yeah, but... Well, regular people don't even know about the dark hour to begin with, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. I mean, I could it be a huge problem if they did, but it just kind of sucks, you know? Hey, the exam results are up. I scored the highest in my grade. Everyone is looking at me with respect. As they should. Peasants. Oh yeah, we get a present from Mitsuru. Forgot about that part, actually. We 
everybody wants a piece of me. Let's go say hi to Mitsuru then. Get a present. Oh, she's not here. Where did she go? I wonder if the nurse will give me some medicine having, after having gone on the trip. I mean, I guess I can just get MG out of the way. you fair on your exams? Not too shabby. Excuse me. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Uh... Dude, those freaks with apathy, apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I mean, I feel bad for the victims and all, but seriously, it's like there's no end to them. Technically speaking, there is an end to them. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the dark hour will vanish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So what you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. Oh, actually, let me rewind. I want to see if... Um... I can't remember her name, but... She's here. She's not here. Mitsuru! Oh, excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our um, extracurricular activities. Oh man, this sucks. Oh, make a master game. Yes, that's awesome. All stats plus three, let's fucking go, bud! Theurgies or Gia mode. That's cool.
Excuse me. I want to put Vigus in my team. But I'm not sure who to leave out. I want, I guess, Yukari, but... Uh, Going to Tartars tonight? Maybe I should. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, we can do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. Find me my biz, so mind your own biz. It must be difficult for you to balance combat and studies. I should do more to help you all. Perhaps summer school will be beneficial. Well, let's wait and see how the others did. Apparently in Persona 4, if you do so poorly on your on your exams, you have to attend summer school with like kanji. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like probably the, there's a YouTube video, it's like the rarest Persona 4 scene. Practically no one sees it. It's like, I think it replaces the those days that you hang out with Yosuke at Juness and help him with TA and Teddy. Um. She scored so well on her exams, even though so much has been happening. She can filter out all the distractions and focus on the task at hand. I wish I could do that too. Leader. <laughs> Master San, I have a question. When you attend your institution of schooling, what kind of emotions do you feel? It's fun. Yes. Roger that. I will categorize school as entertaining. Huh? Exam scores? Dude, I don't care about that. Defeating shadows is more important than getting good grades. Any time spent studying could be used to go to Tartarus <laughs> and... Don't get carried away, Yori. You should still study. You can learn from defeat. That's something that goes for our battles against shadows as well. Hey, you saw that the exam uh, results were posted today, right? It's great if you did well, but even if you didn't, try not to worry about it too much. With everything that's been going on, I'm sure you did the best you could. Oh, man. There's something going on here? Oh, it's Akihiko. Today, today's the day I finally returned the favor. Oh, right. Let's see. What, is Tanaka here tonight? Oh, it's the monk. Sure, I mean, why not? Let's hang out with Aki. Yes. This time, let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Our future battles, huh? What's wrong, pal? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first, let's get some food. Hey, what's going on? Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up-and-coming boxer, that it? Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. <sighs> Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Champ or not, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. Uh, this is a fair. <laughs> Boxers are tough, ain't they? What? You can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him, though, Pipsqueak. See? What are you calling right? for? <laughs> 
You said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll too? <laughs> it looks like a fight is going to break out. I have to do something. So, you wanna go first or what? Get back. Look out, it's a fire. Are you shitting me? Get back here! <laughs> Nobody runs away from us! Running away is easy enough. It's losing them, that's the hard part. Still, made for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. That was close. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. But it doesn't matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. But when do we get to eat? Hmm? Like... It's addressed to me. It says it contains fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. I'll take it to my room later. Your parents? Yeah. My foster parents that adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. But it sounds like they're doing well. Oh, that must be nice. I appreciate how much they care, but this is a little too generous. Wanna take some of it off my hands? And again, you'll hardly make a dent in this either. You can share with everyone. Good idea. Would you mind gathering everyone up? Everything is such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Akihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? <laughs> My parents have been good to me. I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Wow! <laughs> when it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight. Glad to have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. He sure look good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata-senpai. Take whatever you want. Hey, this Yuri looks senpai. really good. What's that? Oh, going for that this one, huh? Like you get that. For royalty. You have my thanks. Do you have my thanks? I took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Free food is free food, man. I've really got to show my gratitude. To my parents and to everyone here. Well... All this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past. Like, why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. Well, don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. The orphanage used to be something like this too. We all lived under the same roof having casual conversations. I'd forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. I remembered after you suggested we share with everyone. Let's do it again sometime. Tell that to my parents. I really gotta repay you in particular, though. Or we'll never be squared away. What did I do for Akihiko? All right. I, I it's don't pretty late remember. Now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. There's something mixed in here. It's a letter and some sort of handcrafted object. Looks like a gold medal that's made of cardboard. What? Is there something there? This is... Is it yours? <sighs> this medal doesn't really belong to anyone. It's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader. And you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? The power of God and anime. Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? Bonds with others, huh? 
<laughs> that might be something I'm missing. Well, whatever it is, you've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't going to help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger, but I'll do it my way. Sorry, we were supposed to be cleaning up. I'll take care of the rest. Things got so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. Cool. Hey, we got Char. Well, it ain't a social link, but it's nice to see this. Hell yeah! Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's prime time for a little beachside romance. You know, I bet the other guys would kill to be in our shoes. After all, we're staying in the same dorm as three super cute girls. You think so too, right? What, what about I guess? That's four. <laughs> but if you want to be more than friends, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Career just sent by top of the class as student council president. You'd have to be an uber nerd for her to even give you the time of day. Yucatan's pretty popular too. You gotta be as stylish as she is to be a good match. Fuka is, well, soft spoken and kind of hard to grasp. So you might need to take the initiative with her, I guess. Anyways, keep this hush hush between us, alright? You'll have to forgive me, I just can't stand listening to this for the third time, or reading it for the third time. Hey, you have a minute? It's about the track team. Since you just transferred, you probably haven't heard about the Mioho Cup, right? Well, let me tell you. On August 2nd, there's a major competition for track and field. There's this guy named Hayase. Total speed demon. We can't let him trounce us this year. Got high hopes for you, so get ready to train hard. I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Don't go skipping school now. Wasn't he on the Kendo Special team? training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Competition's on August 2nd. Let's do this thing! I just remember, I just remember there being a Kendo team. Uh, what? We could, Yukari. Looks like we're finally done with exams. That's a load off our shoulders, huh? Are you heading home? Yep, see ya! <laughs> yeah. Um, no thanks. Maybe next time. Sorry, I guess I'm just not in the mood. I'm not sure how to explain it. If I want her to open up to me, I need to work on my charm. So you need max charm to hang out with you, Kari? Fudge! Part of me wants to walk around and talk to all the people here before the summer goes, because then I won't see them for a while, but the other part of me is like, that's going to take a lot of energy. This will be called the pretend like I was just walking and when Kirijo Senpai comes out, I'll get close to her strategy. That's my plan, but I'm all nervous now. I know I'm overthinking this. Our bond won't grow yet? Oh my god. Fine, whatever. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <sighs> pills I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks well I suppose it's 
More of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How did he go about figuring that out? Terribly lamentable. <laughs> Come on, Takaya. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <laughs> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off. Nosy little shit. Yeah? Well, they're going down. You hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you. I'm done with them. That's right, Ken. He'll be staying here for a while. I'll try not to be a bother, so don't mind me. Oh, everyone's so chatty tonight. Data regarding the newest resident, Ken Amada, has been logged. I am able to communicate with, with him at any time. Please leave it to me. Uh, oh, hi. I think Amada-kun would be upset if he heard me say this, but don't you think he's kind of a dorm? Isn't he kind of precocious? <laughs> and that's what's so great about him. It's kind of like having a little brother. No, I bet Fuka would never get this kind of opportunity. At, his, at her house. Oh, right. He'll be staying at the dorm, but remember he's not a member of C's. So be very careful what you say around him, and don't talk with him about anything regarding shadows. Not bad. Just one little kid stuck living with a bunch of high schoolers. Well, I suppose it's not the worst thing to happen. Garni, try to make an effort to be nice to the kid. Hello, granny -san. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Kanamata. That's Ken, written with the character for Dry. I just moved into the dorm. I'll be staying here for the summer. His feet don't even touch the ground! He's still in elementary school. Man, that's young. I don't know what it is about that kid, but my Junpei senses are going crazy around him. Either he's a little punk, or he's way more mature than I am. I don't know, man. Is it just me? Hey! Hey, you don't think Amadakun is going to end up getting involved in all this, do you? It's possible. Yeah. I guess you're right. Kutsuki-san did say that he has the potential. Oh, Ken-chan. I don't want to start a social link tonight, but I want to see what the next part of this is. Been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit, though. I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. Are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Yeah, why not? Take my money. Alright, Tanaka. I think there are some boots that what I wanted to make. Yeah, lightning evasion. You 
Here you go, thanks for waiting. So, what will it be? I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Um. The more I study, the more I realize there's so much I don't know. But don't you worry. I'll make sure your equipment is done right. Shift boost is probably very powerful. I want both shift boost and growth, but I don't know which would do better. I don't know which personas I should put either one on either. <sighs> I think there's a fan around here somewhere. Hmm. Uh, oh, found it. You've got a good that cat. All right, I'll trade you for this. I've got some good stuff in stock. Take your time browsing. Oh, dude. Items for debuffs? That's insane. I'm doing some personal research, but I can't get my hands on certain items. If you find something interesting, bring it to me, will you? That is so cool. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. <gasps> she can't equip the boots. Oh, that sucks. I thought she was going to be able to. Was it boots? Am I dumb? She has special boots? I forgot about that. She has special everything. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I saved them. what the police officer has for equipment regarding I guess. What'll it be? I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Uh, take as long as you need. Uh-huh. What are you looking for? Huh. What'd you bring? I feel like I should get something for I guess. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. All done here. Be seeing ya. I visit the shrine at night? No. I'll have to wait for tomorrow for the cards then. I'm not gonna worry about it though. I'm not gonna try to optimize this. Not too worried about it.
Wait, but what about the drugstore? Do they have other healing items now? Right, right. <laughs> We've got some new stuff. Take your time, bros. You made up your shame. You made change your mind. Which ones? You sure? Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Alright. Now it's time to get out of here. Will be joining in the operations to explore Tartarus. I am ready for deployment. I have also been equipped with a number of combat functions, in addition to the ability to summon a persona. I will provide more details later, but suffice to say, you won't want to miss it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. When the time comes, prepare to have your mind blown, as they say. As they say. Our current objective is the elimination of the large shadows that appear during a full moon. In order to accomplish this, it will be crucial to gather combat data in Tartarus. Please make efficient use of my facilities so that we may achieve our goal. Once our gear mode is activated, the Igus will automatically attack during her turn for three rounds, unprompted. During our gear mode, her attack and defense will increase significantly. Keep in mind that once Orgia mode has ends, I guess will overheat, rendering her immobile for her next turn. I think I only ever used Orgia mode once. Whoa! Level up! Social link bonuses. Cool. I've been waiting for you. If I may say so. While awaiting your arrival, I sense something shifting within Tartarus. A number of strange doors have appeared there, it seems. Where these doors lead, whether this bodes ill or well, even I do not have that knowledge. However, I believe you have the wherewithal to find out. Take the leap. You may discover something useful. I have faith in you. <laughs> Those who challenge the unknown, choosing risk over comfort, often achieve greatness. I believe such challenges necessarily facilitate some form of growth. Your courage will lead you to, better, to your betterment. I sincerely hope you will continue to act on it. Something weird's going on in Tartarus. These doors... Should I investigate? <coughs> I don't remember anything about doors except the re the re-encounters with boss fights. I didn't get a reading. The fortune reading. I do this every time. So far, we're zero for three.
have a full stock of personas. Wapo and Yamata Norochi. <clears throat> and Fortuna. I need to get those leveled up. The rest I can fuse away. Do some quick fusion readings, or see what kind of fusions I can do, and we'll go on. I don't want to spend Welcome too much time to in here. Room. I just want to go kill Shep! Which will you choose? Oh, Narcissus is good, but... Fred. This persona, yes? What do you wish to inherit? It seems no- It's finally time. This persona is powerful. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive well then. Shall we begin? Oh, it learns sexy dance. That's so funny, dude. You can't control this one yet. One more level I can make this guy. Very well. We look Let's get a move on. All right, let's get started. Uh -huh. This area ends here. Now there's a dead end. Cool change of scenery. The decor has completely changed. Now then, what are we going to find? What is 
them up. They're wide open! I am Igus, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. Preparing to eliminate all hostile targets. <laughs> they are finished. Cool. Good teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. Treasure chest. Let's go. This should be a good test of your strength. But don't get careless. Go, Pony. Move to strike. How about the trick? Oh, 500 XP from Resuming a exploration. regular encounter. This is a little weird to navigate. <laughs> Kind of machine. I wonder what it's powered by. Great. Rare shadow. Heck yeah. Huh. Oh, funny. Nothing shall escape my watch. Not a shadow. It's a rare shadow. Do your best to take it down. That's right. I'll reduce this. This makes sense. It's what I'm accustomed to. Out of nowhere. I'm still setting up. It will take a little more time. One step at a time. There's a way Kunkum is now face reality. Never be charity. The enemy you find. Cover the gas. Bugs not here. Gotta fight. Watch it right here. Shadow 10 o'clock direction. Shall I move to strike? Go for it. Professor Lego. Give me motivation. Get on the rock. Round the propels. 
Beat them to a pulp, as they say. I think something new has appeared on this floor. It's nothing huge, but I'll give you another heads up when we're, you're closer to it. Maybe that's the door. Let's see, it does like an upward slash when you're in the... Yeah, that's odd. Order can take us to the end. Try to remember where it is. A step leader. I think this device caused that tremor just now. Mm. The reading that I'm getting from it is similar to the one from the entrance. The shape is similar as well. Could it be a portal leading somewhere else? Better take a closer look. Something seems different about this floor. Is this clock? Maybe like the one from the first floor? There's a booklet in front of the clock. The title on the cover reads Great Clock Manual. For those who seek to, gra to gain greater power from a common experience. To activate the Great Clock, a prerequisite quantity of Twilight Fragments is required. After an offering is made and the hand strike 12, then the Great Clock can be used. The observer shall then reach for the pendulum, which, uh, while picturing a re recipient of the clock's power. Last day of the month, activity verified. The document seems to be from 10 years ago. The clock's hands are already pointing at 12. I might as well follow the instructions and picture one of my teammates. If you've used twilight, uh, a Twilight Fragment in Tartarus, an entrance to a special dimension with a Great Clock may appear. The Great Clock grants a large experience boost to a teammate of your choosing, although you can only choose allies at, lower, at a lower level than the Master. The greater the level difference, the bigger the bonus. Remember, the entrance will only appear after you've used a Twilight Fragment, so don't be shy about using them. However, entrances to the Great Clock will vanish if you move to another floor, so be sure to use them when they appear. What? Well, I guess this is a way to circumvent the you can only have so many people in your party hmm. and instead of just letting everybody get XP okay so maybe I don't need to worry so much about having a static team Sent back. 
For a second I lost you all, but then it was like you teleported, just teleported here. What an odd place. What do you think could be the deal with that clock? Seems like we could use it. If it seems like it'll be helpful, it'd be smart of us to make use of it. It doesn't seem dangerous. Maybe it actually has a positive effect on it, effect on everyone. If the entrance opens up again, let's try it. It said next battle, so like, can I just go fight the floor one mob? tells me it's weak to lightning, but based on its abilities, I feel like it's weak to fire. It's already down. That makes sense. Can I stand on this enemy? Sure, knock himself out.
I need to finish with all that attack so we can get shuffle time. That's so cool. Nailed it. Nice going, Junpei. Let's go, Junpei. That's a pretty big relief. I was, you know, I was ready to do what you do in Persona 3 and just stick with your cast of four. But this is very good. Got up after one turn. What to do? Oh, I should have. Right. We have seized victory. Let us proceed. in a trompe d'oeil painting like it's one big illusion yeah no kidding my head hurts when i try looking from far away it's the snakes this will do the trick That 
was a spectacular finish. That's such a cool leap. Cool leap slash. What a G. Shall I move to strike? Let's go, Junpei. I'm so glad I can still hear that Great. from time to time. By using an evoker to envision a death, one may summon a persona. What a fascinating concept. That's a rare shadow. Don't let it escape. It'd be great if we can defeat it. What's the plan here? Go for it! Let's go to Lego! What's next? I still take the wand for now. So this one, since it was a treasure demon. Oh yeah. That was excellent leadership. Down the stairs. Nice going, Junpei. There's a strong enemy coming up on, on a nearby floor. Let's be sure to pace ourselves. Oh, there's a treasure chest! Keep coming from. Oh no, brace yourself. I'm hit. Low thermal readings. Unexpected. Oh, I've been knocked down. <gasps> Why are they bullying Igis? What the fuck?
without direction. It's the moment to destroy the nation. Around slow motion, give me motivation. Break out now, dead on the rock. Around the around, spit out from all over. Around the corona, the stone coming in crowd. Watch out the moon, it is spit out. This one, this sound, the buzz all ground. Surround up, don't ease your pace, consider me as brutal. Moment of truth, there ain't no truth. You're the only one, one world, one world. Shall I move the strength? Do it, and that's the layer. them to a pulp, as they say. As they say. I am ready to move out at any time, awaiting orders. Did he scout out the whole floor? No. I've been waiting for you. Marvelous. In the wake of your recent expedition, I bear news which may be of interest to you. It seems that at this moment your bonds will have a uniquely beneficial effect on the creation of new personas. If you wish to take advantage of this opportunity, please visit the Velvet Room. Right, because of the Good. Are you accepting Arcana. a request? Wonderful. Very well. That, yeah, that clock is really cool, though. The fact that I can just level up the teammates that are underleveled. Love it. And I also didn't know until just recently, not this stream, but one before maybe, that the teleporters, <clears throat> the teleporters in the middle of Tartarus floors will send you back to them. There's a treasure chest. After you go what home. What should we do? I thought it was you go back and you don't get to come back to the floor you were just on. Now's our chance. This seems effective here. I move to strike. I'll show no mercy. As your answer shall hang up, one enemy down. May I? Teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. There's a shadow. Just 
just try punching it. Shall I take charge? Show us how it's done. Excellent choice. I'm ready. How about a trick? Excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. Oh, there's a treasure chest! So if I unlock this chest here with the Twilight Fragments, it should send me to the Great Clock again? Shadow up ahead. You're taking it out. Oh, there's two of them even. Let's try. Oh, I should switch to one of the personas I'm trying to level. Persona. This will improve my capability. Nice. Wait, she learns Diorama? Well. Did she learn Diorama in the original? Enemy spotted. Awaiting orders. I don't remember Igus learning healing spells in the original game. where the stairs were no giant clock great vegetables great clock
man. We, we sure love bread. little clap they do. It's really funny.
Yes. With constant in incremental progress, we will gradually reach our objective. A journey of a thousand miles begins by first treading without fear, as they say. I guess you, you sure know some unusual phrases. Where did you learn about them? I have a daily academic regimen. Just the other day, Junpei-san taught me how to write haikus. Oh my Tartarus, dark decrepit Tartarus, why are you so tall? <laughs> That's good. Really good. Junpei is the best. He's he's the man. All the haters be hating. They have to get stronger too. They have to be a better support for the team. We don't need that motorcycle with the communication equipment anymore. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, it still it still counts as a advantage, even though it was facing me. Good work, Akihiko. nice they've um, made unique animations for these attacks. Uh, for the physical attacks is what I was going for. little generic in the previous games. <laughs> but I mean... Oh. I need to trim my cat's claws.
My persona has a new power. Hey, hey. Perfect. Just what we hoped for. We're almost out of bread chest. already. Stairs located. Updating data records. I trust you're not tired. Then let's be off. Leave the front lines to me. I will take down our enemies with a volley fire. Sorry, but it won't be that easy. I'll be taking my fair share of the action. We have the advantage. This doesn't seem to have any effect. She doesn't want to slow. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. I'm still setting up. Come on. I'll take care of the beetle. She crit you? Oh my god. Went off without a hitch. Let's get going. Shadow up ahead. Taking it out. Found the stairs. Um. What is this? It's different from any response I've gotten until now. It's. Shrouded. It doesn't seem like a shadow. It's larger and seems almost like a wall. Yes, precisely. Hmm. If it's dangerous, it's possible that it could, in fact, be riskier to simply ignore it. Okay, then, going by the signal I'm getting, it shouldn't be far from you. Treasure chest identified. Will you open it? Joker, there's a treasure chest. We can get more money. We don't see that kind. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Good work. Did you know the enemy down? You mind? Got it. What to do? Let's see, what have we tried? Let's see if wind does anything. Oh, no, it blocks wind. I'm 
Excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. I just had a thought. The way that Fuka is now, <clears throat> when she doesn't fully analyze an enemy after several turns, where you have to spend SP, and you have to wait an entire round, even if you wanted to play the game where you don't give direct commands to your party members, it, it's a little bit nerfed compared to the original. Just a little bit. What is that? Is this a door? Could you please get a little closer for me? Uh -huh. The mysterious readings seem to be coming from this door. I sense shadows beyond the door as well. If you plan on entering, please proceed with caution. It feels different in here compared to outside. The atmosphere is unstable and the walls look like they're rippling. My powers aren't working very well here. I can at least tell that it's not a very large area, but please be careful. There's no map. This looks like a boss fight. Everyone is poisoned. I'll hit them where it hurts. Oh, God. I hate this. status so we can't all out attack. That's just tra tragic. I can't even shift! Maybe I'm not a leader. Take your daddy has to the violence. The leader would have talked to you. We should find a list. So, who we up against? 
this isn't brutal. Moment of truth, there ain't no truth. You don't only know one world, one love, but the battle goes on. Shadows hold mass destruction. The time is right. I should have definitely healed. That's true. Yeah, that's why. That poison would have done that. Stopped us from doing all out attacks. Kind of dumb. like barely any XP. Something welled up within me even more than usual during battle. Okay. like what the chairman gave you before, doesn't it? It's apparently really rare. I'm surprised to see it in a place like this. So you fight, strong encounter, and you get some treasure. Pretty cool. that? It's as if the energy from the door surged through the entire floor. Oh, I can see the floor layout. That makes it easier for me to guide you now. Monad doors. I like Monado. Is that a pun? Defeating the special enemy, enemy inside will trigger a special shuffle time where major arcana cards appear more frequently. Defeating the special enemy will also reveal the layout of the current floor and the floor directly above it once you exit through the door. The mana door is an unstable contraption. When one appears on a floor, the door will lose power and become inaccessible if you move to another floor, even if you return using a teleporter on the same day. So you have one shot with that door. There's a treasure chest. What should we do? Recommended course of action. I
Fuka and the others are talking about the door from earlier. If I may say so. <laughs> it would appear you faced a threat beyond that door. A door connecting to the tunnel which was created within Tartarus. Perhaps an appropriate name for it would be the Manador. The shadows that congregate past such doors will prove to be a valuable means of accelerating your growth. I must know how you fared. Did your enemies provide you with the challenge? Marvelous. Pleased to hear. I believe challenging more daunting foes will act as a sort of shortcut in your development. On another note, I've detected some sort of structure on the 91st floor. It emanates an energy not dissimilar to the door you entered. The dimensions of the structure resemble a tunnel, one might call it a Monod Passage. Entering this passage may provide you with another opportunity to test your metal. For the time being, I will log that investigation as a personal request. Very well then. Tartarus is never going to stop being a mystery to me. About that door, it appears to lead to a side path in Tartarus. In short, if you're heading for the top, taking that path would be considered a detour of sorts. However, it seems like you'll be able to obtain something down that path that should provide uh, prove helpful to exploring. Depending on how prepared you are, it may be a good idea to try these doors. Good day. Are you accepting a request? This is getting more and more complicated. Very well, then. Tartarus was originally pretty straightforward. I'm gonna call it there for tonight. I don't want to. I, I want to keep keep going. I want to see more of Tartarus, but we can save that for the next time. Probably make the entire stream a Tartarus stream. Because it seems like there's going to be a lot going on. I only made it to one of the mini bosses, and then the door. So there's still plenty left along with the passage and other things. Have a good night, y'all. Happy Valentine's. I love you all so very much. Bye-bye.